One of the criticisms that particularly the new atheists would level at Christians would be, well, there's so many different varieties of Christianity, you know, it's choose your flavour. What advice would you give to someone who is fundamentally unchurched as to how they could go about discovering what the Bible says about Christianity? If there's so many different things being preached, even within the same denomination, how does someone who's on a search for the real objective truth begin to go about that search? Truth does not pander to flavor or taste. Um, and when you find a church or denomination that is focused upon satisfying the desire of people to edit truth to make it most conformable to their image and their desires, you're, you're looking at a group that you can, you can go ahead and mark them off and move on to somebody else. Um, the way that you determine truth in anything you cannot define, my logic teacher taught me this many, many years ago, you cannot define the word truth without using categories of consistency. And so you have to look for those who are consistent. You have to look for positions that are consistent. Uh, a consistent view of scripture would be either to accept it for what Jesus taught it was. I mean, if you find someone who says, who claims to be a Christian, and, oh, I, I trust Jesus as my savior, but then shows no interest in knowing what Jesus thought about Scripture or no interest in holding the views of Scripture that Jesus himself did, that's a glaring inconsistency that should disqualify that person or that group from your thinking. But if you find someone who will accept what Jesus says about Scripture and view it the same way he does, hence holding to Scripture as the sole and fallible rule of faith and uh, believing all of what Scripture has to say in all of its parts, uh, then you're going to, within that subgroup, look for those who are consistently interpreting that word, uh, that are not just picking and choosing what portions are going to emphasize, etc., etc. So it's, it's looking for consistency. The application of what they find in Scripture to all of life, to all of worship, uh, these are, are the signposts that can lead a person who truly wants to find biblical Christianity. Uh, to those who are proclaiming it and practicing it. And what you're going to see along the way are all sorts of roads going off of the directions where um, the scriptures are no longer the touchstone, uh, there are man's traditions, other new revelations, uh, a diminishment of the authority of scripture, whatever it might be. And those roads will take you off to some very populated valleys uh, with lots and lots of people in them. But I don't think you're going to find much light there. They're going to be very, very dark. And so, when, when, uh, when the new atheists point to all the different kinds of Christianity, there is, there is a, a level of validity to that argument. There is a level of validity to that argument. But I think the fact that we have such a wide variety is not due to any lack of clarity in the part of the Bible. Uh, it is primarily due to people not following what the Bible has to say, not believing in sola scriptura, the scriptures as sole and foul rule of faith of the church, not mm -hmm. believing in uh, the need for consistent interpretation. When you do not interpret scripture consistently, you can't say that the result is God speaking. If, if, you, if you believe in sola scriptura and you practice sola scriptura, then you're going to, you're going to consistently interpret the text of scripture you're going to it's called hermeneutics exegesis and if you if you don't put out a, a great effort to honestly seek to understand exactly what it is the original authors are communicating then you can't say that the result of that is the word of god for example if i were to send someone an email and they show no effort whatsoever to interpret what i've said within the context that i intended it then they can't say that whatever however they interpret that really represents me but if they put out a real effort to interpret what I'm saying in the context in which I meant it, then their interpretation will reflect my thoughts and my intentions. When we honor the Word of God by handling it correctly, we are really showing that we believe this is God speaking, and I want to hear what God's saying, not what I think He should be saying. Uh, all of these are signposts that point us to those people who are accurately handling the Word of God. And, and I would say to, the, to, to Christians, the element of truth in what the New Atheists are saying, I think, is a sign of God's judgment. In other words, when you live in a society where, there, where false teaching just runs amok, it is all over the place, 
um, a, a unified, uh, growing church that is focused upon the Word of God is a blessing in a nation. A non-unified, fractured church where there is false teaching that just that is carrying the day is demonstration of God's judgment upon a nation and upon a society. And so once again, that takes us back to how do we live faithfully even within the, that type of a context, and it's quite a challenge.